hi everyone my name is Yolanda welcome to my channel in today's tutorial I will be making some flowers and roses and also some ivy leaves out of gum paste one of the flowers that we will be making in this tutorial is Gerbera daisy we will make some sunflowers as well These dogwood flowers are so beautiful, but they are so easy to make, it's unbelievable. We will be making them as well. And of course, we will be making some daisies. We will make a rose on a stem with calyx and leaves. And last but not least, we will be making ivy leaves. Ivy leaves are used as ornament for a cake with flowers or just the leaves by themselves. I have placed a link in the information window of this video on how you can get the kit and all the colors to make these beautiful flowers and many more. Besides the kit, let's see what else we will need to make the flowers and the roses. A gum paste storage board. We will also need wires and florist tape, a dusting pouch with cornstarch and also some vegetable shortening. We will also need edible glue which is water and fondant. We will also need a small rolling pin, a veining tool, an artist brush and a small spatula and a ball tool. We will also need brown or dark color dust. And of course to make these flowers we need to use gum paste. I like to use the Wilton brand. You may use any brand of your choice. And also some icing colors of your choice. We will start by making a daisy. Roll out a piece of gum paste to 1 16th of an inch. Roll it out on a surface that has already been dusted with either cornstarch or powdered sugar. Once you roll it out, you're going to take a medium size daisy cutter and cut one flower. Press down the cutter just to make sure that the gum paste is cut with a clean cut. So now we are going to place the flower on top of the thin foam that has already been dusted. And now we are going to soften each petal. With our ball tool, we are going to go over each petal, beginning at the tip of the petal and going down to the center of the flower. Very careful not to rip or damage any of the petals, very softly. Now we are going to switch from the ball tool to the veining tool and we are going to go over each petal just like we did with the ball tool. Starting at the tip of each petal and going down straight towards the middle of the flower. Very softly not to break the petals. Now 
And once we are finished doing this, we are going to make our center by taking a small piece of yellow gum paste and pressing it onto the cavity of the flower impression board, the cavity that is designed to make centers for daisies. And then we will glue the center to the daisy using edible glue. Then place the daisy on a large flower forming cup until it dries. To make the dogwood, we are going to take a piece of gum paste, roll it out to 1 16th of an inch, take the cutter and cut one flower. Position the flower front side down in the dogwood cavity of a flower and leaf impression mat. Now take the thin foam and press down to imprint the details on the flower. Now take the flower and position it on a thin foam back side up and using a ball tool and very gently, very softly cup the sides of each petal. And now turn the flower over to the front and with a ball tool you are going to soften the edge of all the petals. Leave the flower on the thin foam. Now, using the large end of the veining tool, with point down, pull up the center indent of each petal and pinch it a little bit. Then, with the ball tool, cup the center of the flower and transfer the flower to a large flower former cup. I'm dusting with an artist brush some light green color dust just before the center of the flower. And now to make the center of the flower, I'm going to take a little bit of gum paste, turn it into a ball, and I'm going to press that into the cavity that is made for the center of the dogwood. I will then glue the center to the flower with some edible glue. You should always apply the color after your flower has been dried. But for the sake of time, I'm going to do this one like this without the flower drying completely. I'm going to brush some brown color dust um, around the indent of each petal. And this flower is complete and now I'm going to let it dry. After you let dry your flower, then you may place it on your cake. Our next flower will be the sunflower. We are going to do the same thing as we did for the daisy. 
but this time we are going to use the large cutter and we are going to cut two flowers. We are going to prepare our flowers. We are going to place the second flower over the first flower offsetting the petals. Just like this. Then position the flower on a large flower forming cup. Now I will take some brown gum paste. I'm going to roll it into at least a half an inch bowl and press it down on the cavity made for making the center for the sunflower. Then you are going to pop out the center and you are going to glue it to the center of the flower with gum glue. Let flower dry overnight in the large flower former cup. To make the Gerbera daisy, we are going to do the same thing that we did for the daisy, except this time we are going to cut two large flowers and one small flower. We are going to glue them one on top of the other and we are going to make a center in green color. Glue the center onto the flower with gum glue. Put the flower into a large flower former cup and let it dry. To make the rose, I'm going to be using a large petal cutter, a keyless cutter and a leaf cutter. To make the center, I'm going to take a piece of gum paste, roll it into a small ball of about half an inch. I'm going to shape the ball into a teardrop shape that is the length of one of the petals of the cutter. I'm using a 20 gauge piece of wire. I'm going to take one end and with a needle nose plier, I'm going to make a hook. Dip the wire into edible glue and you are going to pass it through the uh, teardrop shape. And I'm going to taper it down at the end so that way the gum paste can attach to the wire. And this needs to be dried before we use it. But I have made some in advance. To make the petals, roll out a piece of gum paste on a surface that has been dusted with either cornstarch or powdered sugar. For the rose, you are going to cut three petals. I'm going to cut four because I always like to cut one extra just in case. Using a small spatula, make a slit about half an inch in length between petals. Place the petal on a dusted thin foam and with the bolt tool, soften the edge of the petals. Transfer the petal to a thick foam and cup the center. Brush some edible glue in the middle of the petal and insert the base. Looking at this flower, I'm going to think of the petals as being a head, two arms and two legs. I'm going to brush the head with edible glue and I'm going to wrap the center. Then I'm going to brush with edible glue one arm and one leg wrap the center again and I'm going to do the same thing with the other arm and the other leg and I have just created a rose bud now for the second petal we are going to do the same thing first we are going to soft the edges Now we are going to move the petal to the, th to the thick foam. 
we are going to cup the arms and we are going to turn the petal then we are going to cup the head and the two legs and we are going to turn the petal again and cup the center brush some edible glue in the center of the petal and take the rosebud and put it through and start uh, gluing the petals first the two arms then the head and then the two legs and now we have just formed a half rose For the third petal, we are going to do the same thing like we did for the other petals. Soften the edges of each petal and then we are going to cup the head, the legs and the arms. Turn it around and cup them the center of the petal. Now we are going to insert our half rows the same way we did before. Putting some edible glue in the middle and we are going to glue the petals but only the bottom half of the of each petal we do not want to glue the top just the bottom and we are going to attach all the petals to the rows and now we have created a full rose curl the petals back to give the impression that the rose is opening for the leaves, roll out a piece of gum paste to 1 16th of an inch over the groove of the impression mat. Cut leaves with a leaf cutter. I'm using a 26 gauge piece of wire which I'm going to put through the groove of the leaf. I am going to take the leaf and place the front of the leaf against the impression mat and press it down with a thin pad. And now for the calyx, we are going to roll out a piece of gum paste to 1 16th of an inch, cut a calyx with a calyx cutter, turn, turn it upside down and just brush some edible glue and pass the wire through the calyx and glue it to the bottom of the rose and gently curl calyx tips away from the rose to make it look natural. And now using florist tape, we are going to attach the leaves to the stem of the rose. And now our rose is complete. To make a bouquet of ivy leaves, we make the leaf the same way we made the leaf for our rose. After all the individual leaves are made and dried, then we put them all together using florist tape. Our project has come to an end. As you can see, we made a rose bud. We made ha a half a rose and also a full rose with leaves and calyx. Also made some Gerbera daisies in pretty colors. We made some sunflowers in a pretty golden color with brown centers. And of course, we also made some daisies. We also made some dogwood flowers in white with green center. And last but not least, we made some ivy leaves.
Before I finish this tutorial, I would like to emphasize that metal wires and florist tape are not, I repeat, are not food grade. They are for, they should not be touching your cake. To insert your wired flowers, you will use flower spikes just like the one that I'm holding in my hands right now. To use the flower spikes, all you need to do is push the spikes down into the cake and then you will insert your wired flowers. You may also use a drinking straw as drinking straws are food grade. You have two choices. You either use the flower spikes or a drinking straw. But never ever insert your wired flower into your cake because the florist tape is not food grade. So here it is, our finished product. All the beautiful flowers and roses and the leaves that we made in today's tutorial. I hope that you had as much fun as I did making all these flowers in all these beautiful and vibrant colors. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with me. Please share this video with someone and if you like the tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Don't miss the next video where I'm going to be displaying all these beautiful flowers on a cake. Thank you again and I will see you next time with another tutorial. In the meantime, take care and may God bless you.